So this is one boring video, but don't worry, it won't be entirely boring because it's in two halves and the other half is going to contain Jade, um, a YouTuber, a growing YouTuber. She's a pretty one and the less boring one. So we're going to be watching her together, but in the meantime, let me do some introduction. We'll pay attention to her video covering the topic of how to grow your subscribers from zero to, you know, millions. Uh, then um, we'll listen to her perspective and then we'll listen to the perspective of a legitimate illiterate and that's me. Um, I want to create balance on the entire internet. I want to infuse it with information from an illiterate but a legitimate illiterate and you know let's create balance. Let's reshape the internet instead of just recycle it. I'll explain this further after we watch this video. Um, basically she's going to be covering in her own perspective um, her views as to, and her experience as to how to um, raise your view, sorry, your subscriber count from zero to myriads of subscribers, um, her methods, and according to her, an entire plan. Uh, so we're going to listen to her and then I will give my own perspective thereafter. Um, the sound, there's a sound here that I cannot stop, um, so the audio is going to be a bit terrible, but that's what boring is about. Uh, there's so much coolness on the internet. We have to create balance and you know, let's allow for a bit of boring uh, mixed with the coolness. Um, so uh, pay attention to her. She's interesting and she's cool as well. Uh, so pay attention to her and let's go from there. I'll be meeting you at the end of this video. So stay tuned and listen to my perspective as well. Okay, listen, let's be honest here, YouTube subscribers are very hard to grow. And there's a reason why unsubscribe, subscribe doesn't exist. We all want to be a YouTuber, we all want to be an influencer. It pays the bills well and it's actually quite fun. But nowhere in this video I'm going to make it sound easy or overnight. If that was your intention, you can click off this video. This is for people who are seriously building brands and want to influence actual people. But don't worry, it's not going to be scary. It's going to be step by step and you can tell your mom that you quit your job for YouTube. And I'm not a schemey person to say post consistent content, but we're gonna make a legitimate plan for you. And I hope this is helpful. All you gotta do, if you wanna know how to grow your YouTube channel, starting really small, keep on watching. Uh, I give them love and they run away. Fly to Paris, don't wanna All right, good night guys. I'll see you guys in the morning. I love you so much. Make sure your channel you're subscribed. Oh, only at 100 subscribers. It's okay, tomorrow's gonna be better. Oh my god, we I mean, just reached a million subscribers. Thank you so much. It means so much. Oh my god. Oh, come on. What's up, Dharma Nation? Welcome to today's video. You guys know that I'm not about the BS life, so we're gonna jump into the video. Just wanna say congrats to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. If you want to be the next comment winner, I want to know how long you've been doing YouTube. If you have a channel, what is the biggest roadblock you faced? What's your biggest problem? Just comment below so I can help you guys out. So when starting your channel from zero, from scratch, it's really important to just be real with yourself because the one of the things you don't have to leverage off of getting subscribers, whatever you want to grow your audience is you don't have social proof. So you're going to be missing a huge aspect of like the elements of trust, right? Because when some subscribe when someone subscribes to you, they trust you with all their clicking abilities. So it's super important to understand that you're gonna be missing a huge pillar uh, just because you're starting from zero. It doesn't mean you're qualified, it just means like we have to replace it with something really strong. So whether you're a music artist that's trying to grow your fan base, whether you are a content creator doing photography, trying to grow some more clients, and or you're just doing YouTube for fun as a vlogger and you just wanna make some money with YouTube AdSense. Like these are all valid reasons, but it comes down to four things. I want you to sit in your chair, grab a snack, do whatever it takes for you to pay attention because I want to know when you think about YouTube subscribers or growing a channel do you think about growing views and subscribers first or do you think about your watch time and your audience retainment probably well, listen here guys uh, your traffic sources or your watch time is so much more important because that will 
tell YouTube whether to push your video or not. And what I mean push is you just want to be friends with the YouTube algorithm, which decides whether to recommend your video or to put it on, you know, trending and all that. That's how you get in front of the audience you want to reach. So you need to focus on those two things and stop setting goals that are not obtainable. For example, 100,000 subscribers. Like if you're starting from scratch, focus on what actually works, which is watch time. Focus on your traffic sources and we're gonna help you increase those two things. If you haven't already, make sure you like this video and hit the red subscribe button. It's gonna truly mean the world to me and I just really appreciate it. You can join the best fam squad on earth if you do so. Oh, and then I say I post videos here every single day. So like, get your free and just subscribe. So I am not a film writer, I'm not a producer, but I have learned a few things that revolve around Hollywood and production, you know, over a few friends that are in the industry. And it just makes sense, guys. If you're going into creating a piece of content, it needs to be good. Um, I don't think you understand when you're starting from zero, you're depending on either talent and or hard work. If you have neither, it'll be harder to grow. So I know not everyone's a film director, but if you can honestly get expertise from someone that can actually design a video that can help you, it will tremendously grow your business. Because ideally, you need to have beginning, middle, and end. But let me break it down because your watch time will contribute to the fact that you're gonna be a recommended video because that is my entire growth on this channel. A lot of people think, oh Jay, you just got lucky. Like, no, it's my watch time. It's my audience retainment. And there's a few elements that I use and tricks that I use to make sure it's up and high and I wanna share with you guys. The first tip is the hook. Make sure your hook is compelling as frick. Whether you have to do some clickbait to get them there, you know, we're gonna talk about the meat of the video, like the, the video itself, okay? Because ideally, the click gets you the view, the view gets you the watch time, the watch time will determine your subscriber count, got it? At the end of this video, I'll link a playlist just about YouTube growth if you wanna learn more about titles, thumbnails, all that jazz. But for content, you need a hook. Whether it's gonna be a five second teaser of a funny part that the video is about, whether it's a 30 second intro and how you can help them. Don't be full of fluffiness and be like, hey guys, welcome, like no. Jump to what actually matters so you can increase your watch time as high as possible. I'm not a film producer. I'm not even Emma Stone. Like I don't know anything about uh, movies, but I do know that a trailer really helps get the people engaged to watch the full movie. You need to stir emotion. So I know some of you guys are like, what the heck Jane, I'm not a creator like that. Like, this is something you can do slightly embedded into your talking, whether you can talk with more emotion, whether you're doing a vlog and there can actually be a fake scenario you can make. Like, it's all about storytelling. You need to tell a story. I'm not a film producer, but I do know there's so much importance in getting people to stay to the beginning, middle, then end. If there's not a tension part where there's a problem or you're able to overcome a failure or fear, it's not gonna be easy to get everyone to go to the resolution. This is why people don't walk outside the movie theater when the movie's playing because they're so like compelled, like it's their intention because they have a beginning, middle, end. Unless the movie was shitty and they're gonna walk away. I don't know why I was just thinking about movies, but you can treat it as a production like this. The biggest thing is you need a strong call to action. You wanna refer people to the next video. When you're starting from scratch, listen here, okay? You can only rely on a few things. You and your work. So you have to put in daily videos. And I'm not saying daily like a, yay, like daily videos, like go, like no. It's not gonna be like you're gonna grow because you're doing daily videos. What's gonna happen is I recommend as many pieces of content as possible because to grow a YouTube channel is not like you post a video every day and it's gonna grow really great. Like that's BS. I mean, that can happen if you're like timings there, lucky, like good for you. But a lot of people aren't as lucky or maybe they're not, you know, used to everything. But daily videos is gonna do is ensure you that at least one project the entire year will stick through, AKA go viral, AKA hit the recommended page. Because if you only do once a week, I always say this to my coaching call students, I teach a lot of people how to go on social media one-on-one, -on -one, and they're like, Jade, I'm doing once a week videos. And if you do the math, which I dropped out of school, so I can't even do math, but like, that's like 48 times in the year. So you only have 48 chances to have a video stick through. Whereas if you do every day, you have 365 days. Yeah, that's pretty good. So that's my biggest thing. For small channels, if you don't have money for ads, if you don't have money for a nice camera, nowhere did I say you need all this. It will speed up the process, but you can milk the audience you have. Milk it until you can milk no more. What I'm saying is post every day, engage, like, comment. There's so much hustling when you have nothing. That's what I did for the first seven years of this channel. You never saw the milking process. I will actually include my first video ever. It's super embarrassing. It just took a lot of time to get at this point and everyone doesn't want to see like the hard work behind this channel. So I'll just include a little video. 
Hey guys, um, the reason the reason why I haven't um, recently updated my videos is because I have a new YouTube account. Uh, I'll tell you the behind the story of why I have a new YouTube account. Yeah, that was really embarrassing. And I was also looking, and a lot of people asked me how I grew my channel. It wasn't like a jump. It was. If you guys look, my analytics are, you know, averaging close to 300, 400 sometimes. I don't have secret sauce. It was timing, it was SEO, it was keywords. It was a co combination of every single thing I could do. And it helps that I just like talking a lot. Content is king, yay! But there is strategy behind this, I'm telling you, because to get your audience retention up is through the beginning, middle, end. I put the analogy of a movie theater. If you guys want more so concrete stuff, you guys know, I don't like being fluffy. I have some concrete stuff. Ow, my hand. I have some real like tactical advice. Link it right here. All you gotta do is click this playlist. It's going to direct you to my exclusive one-on-one -on -one training of how to grow a YouTube channel. So you just click that, it's free. Everything on this channel is free. If you wanna take your channel more seriously, and you want a personalized coaching call for me, I have all my links below. Um, I never push anyone to do that. I just thought I'd let you know. I have a lot of people that I talk to that are complaining and sitting down that they can't post more videos. If you can't hire someone to do it for you, okay? That's all I have to say for today. There's just so many elements you have to do all at once. If it's overwhelming, focus on content first, then do marketing. Growing a YouTube channel incorporates three things, okay? It's just, are you branding well? Does your name come across everything? Are you consistent? Is your content good? Are you actually talented? Do you make sense when you talk? And the third thing is distribution. You need to distribute everywhere. Are you DMing people? Are you in FB groups to promote your video? Are you placing ads? Are you trying to message little kids on to watch your video? Making your mom watch it, your dad, your sister, your dog, anyone you can possibly distribute it to, do that in the first few hundred subscribers are the most painful, trust me, it's so painful, um, sitting there waking up with nothing, but you need to be patient. Give yourself 12 to 36 months, not 36 weeks, okay? Okay. And stop complaining, okay? YouTube's a full-time job. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Again, if you're a part of the Dharma Nation, thank you so, so much. If not, I would really highly recommend to check out this playlist. I'll link it here exclusive just for this video. It's all about tactical YouTube growth advice, starting really small. It's truly hard. Think about value. Think about how you can help people and distribute it like crazy. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you all so, so much, and hope you have an amazing day. So, so I had to change my location so I can look a bit pretty. Um, well, we're done um, watching Jade in her uh, video and, you know, a sigh of relief. She said so much in just a very short time. You know, she knows how to, uh, you know, maintain time and say so many things and, you know, make you gasp for air at times. But that's cool. She's very cool and she has her notions as to how to succeed on YouTube. Well, success is relative to a person, subjective, so to speak. So uh, people measure success in different terms. Uh, but what she tried to cover is how to grow your YouTube subscribers from zero to myriads, like I said. And she's testimony to that. Looking at her channel, at her uh, journey on YouTube, you'll notice that she has grown in the past months. Uh, she also spoke of an entire plan um, based on her experience that will enable you become grow a viral YouTube channel. So we're not talking of like viral YouTube videos, we're talking of viral YouTube channel. Um, so, uh, she covered a lot, a lot, um, there's a lot I can have picked from what she said. And notice that I'm a legit illiterate, so my perspective is going to be with no books involved. And, uh, you know, I'm just here to open the eyes to other, uh, to other aspects of every topic that we may circumvent. Um, so, um, just pay attention and I'll cover. I just want to give accolades to Jade as she did a very awesome job. I recommend that you follow her. Um, I follow her as well. Um, subscribe and put on notifications to uh, be abreast with what she has to offer. Another thing that she does that's amazing is that she makes her content 
Creative Commons. You know, this gives me a measure of freedom. I don't know entirely if I'm free to do so, but a measure of freedom to add her video as part of my own video. Um, I hope that I'm not disrespecting her by this, or I'm not bridging, you know, some YouTube terms, but I'm open to trying, to attempting out of the boxness and, um, you know, guarded by some sense, you know, so, um, so, um, well, kudos to Jade. She covered a lot, which is of pertinence. She, um, she's tackling, a, uh, the, she's tackling drawing a YouTube channel uh, by virtue of watch time, you know, as opposed to the more popular uh, trend which is you know subscriber count or views so to speak most people want to go you know get viral videos and most people want to you know have thousands of subscribers so that is the you know that is their method uh, that forms the paradigm for how they tackle growth um, but she's talking of view time or watch time as being of utmost pertinence in your journey of growing your YouTube channel which is a very nice twist it is not popular so I commend her for you know trying out of the boxness refreshing the internet with new information or you know unpopular information so to speak you know the internet is a lot of recycled you know I, I know what will come out when I search the search engines and look for how to grow your YouTube channel you know, uh, so I like to see people that have different perspectives that like to apply a bit of a twist, and that's what Jade is doing. So I'm giving her kudos. Um, yes, so her strategy is not bad, so to speak. I'll touch on that later, you know, when I relate my own perspective. Another thing she mentioned is that it's hard, you know, it's not a snap of a finger kind of thing where you wake up and see your YouTube channel go viral. Well, that possibility exists, as we know. Uh, life there are some unexplainable things in life so it's indeed possible that you know you sow a seed you stay present just by uploading the video and magic happens the next day you know so that's the value of staying present and now I'm going to come to my perspective you know um, you know the notion of drawing a YouTube channel making it viral I doubt should be the first or you know the basis for you're uploading YouTube videos. Um, I think there's a loss there if that becomes the basis. Yes, you can attain success, but how about personal growth? I think personal growth is a very valid reason to want to upload YouTube videos. You know, talking of possibilities, sometimes just the uh, just the ability to do something for free. You know where there's no loss on your part youtube is free um the only time that it will take you is some time which you use on a normal day and then some upload time and um, sometimes the only thing that's needed you know to attain success is presence staying present on people's mind and the internet is an avenue to do so so perhaps that should be one of more pertinent reason to upload youtube videos you know, as opposed to tackling virality, the virality of your channel. Uh, perhaps that's a good start, where you upload videos for your sake. You know, as a means to stay present in the minds of people. As a means to keep potential alive. Potential for opportunity, breakthrough opportunity alive. You know, courtesy of the fact that it is now free to upload a video on YouTube. You know, perhaps it is more you know more revolutionary use of a youtube video if we're using it to relate our you legacy uh, i'll explain what a you legacy is later in the post but basically our legacy you know our very definition you know relaying it to the world also as a means to stay present because no one will bring, bring opportunities your way who is a stranger who has not established your definition and the substance of your definition so perhaps the first uh, uh, good basis for up starting a YouTube channel and uploading YouTube videos constantly is to uh, build your substance, you know, become an apprentice of yourself. 
you know, to where your audience is secondary. You know, a means to evolve in your very substance, um, to keep your dreams alive and dream beats. Many times we need that because uh, it takes inspiration or even a daring to, you know, want to dream at all, let alone bring a dream into fruition. So perhaps a means to keep our dreams alive in dream bits is good reason for starting a YouTube channel. I'm begin I want to tackle that from that perspective. I mean starting there so that we can open our eyes to other aspects um, of YouTubing that may translate into a viral YouTube channel. A very powerful thing to be able to do on the internet is to appeal to the soft spot of humans. Now, if you can break barriers so that humans become generic, you know, there is no longer race, there is no longer locality, uh, you know, posing barrier to your ability to ap appeal to the soft spot of human, then that's a glorious thing. Now, to be able to appeal to the soft spot of human takes a lot. You'll have to tap into your own greatness. And to do so, you'll need to evolve in your substance. And again, like I said earlier, a YouTube video is a very potent means of doing so. So, I do think that YouTubing as a means to upbuild your dream, to keep your dreams alive in dream beats, to be able to tap into your greatness so that you have a stronghold over humans, you know, become a lovable entity regardless of the nature or the locality of the human that constitutes your audience. I think that is the very powerful uh, reason to YouTube at all. And I think that if you start there, your YouTube channel will become powerful. It will have a vibe, a spirit that will transcend barriers and it will spread. You know, I'm telling you, as a legit illiterate, I'm applying, I'm just telling you based on, I'd, I, I may not be able to go into my history on the internet and as a person within this video because I want to keep this video as short as possible because of upload times and stuff like that. But let me just stop there. Um, just take cognizance of what I've said, you know, try to apply, listen to my undertone and apply the context of what I said. Uh, because um, you know, giving other reasons to yourself for uploading YouTube videos, I feel will remove barriers to entry for you uploading or attempting to upload videos at all. And I think that tallies with what Jade said, that you have to be consistent, you know, upload regularly so that you keep your eggs everywhere. You know, you stay present in every niche. Imagine a YouTube resource containing your YouTube video for every possible search query. So yes, uh, the things I said, if you apply it, then your YouTube channel will be filled, you know, whether it becomes successful or not in the near term. And then that leaves your eggs everywhere, keeping your potential alive for opportunities across the internet. You know, so uh, just pay attention to the context of what I've said. Um, I'll put all the necessary links underneath this video. I'm the creator of a content type of content called Ulog, so I refer to this video as a Ulog instead of a vlog. A Ulog means that uh, is a form of content where you stands for you, um, where you do not resource from the internet in a bid to gift to the internet. You know, perhaps we can reshape the internet and recreate it instead of recycle what exists. Um, so it's a new form of content called ulogs or ulogs. You know, as as long as the world knows of blogs and vlogs, I want them to know of ulogs. And people who create ulogs are uloggers. And there's a website enabling this. It's called ulogs.org. I'll put all the necessary links. So you can also connect with me. I'll put my email as well. You know. Um, in the end, I want to create a school. It's called digital literacy that will. You know, allow everyone to have an education. I have three projects all together um, related to dream building, and uh, I'm pushing hard. You know, my life is very hard and it's tough, uh, but you know, so that suffering has essence is why I'm here. You know, I'm here to uh, love you in reality. You know, I call yourself your boy Terry, and my name is surpassing Google on the entire internet. You can search for me.
uh, being resources written by me and perhaps written about me by others uh, just to establish my definition and so that you feel free relegate reservations when you approach me you know via my email and stuff like that um, again kudos to Jade please follow her uh, I'll be doing more videos covering um, all her videos that are creative common and stuff like that I'm um, giving my own perspective so that our eyes are broader our minds eyes are co more colorful in how we see things and um, um, well you can also follow me and you know subscribe put on notifications and expect more videos from me in you know in uh, listening to the perspective of, of a legit literate another of my projects is called untalented i also have tear drops with the aim of rewarding every tear you know i consider tear an emblem of human and uh, um, an epitome of breakthrough so we want to use the tears to fix the tears anyway i'm your boy terry once again and um what more can i say um, in the next video, I'll be more composed. I'm not very good at making videos. This is a rush video so that I can maintain inspiration so my thoughts are not in order and I may not have covered some of the things that I've wanted to say. All the same, please pay attention to the context, my undertone, and sift my nonsense to find sense in it, or at least testimonial use for sense. Dirt is good, ask the soap master. Your boy Terry once again. Have an amazing day. Stay awesome.